Welcome back to Channel Michelle McConnell. Best of today. The equipment, didn't we, Connor? Yeah. Thanks to the boys and poles go up. No, all the boys and poles go up. Hopefully, this works. We want it to do. It's a uh, milk here, though. And it heats milk. Doesn't it, Connor? Yeah. I went to co op to buy a cylinder of gas and a regulator to use last year's heater, but I seen this and I just said I'd give it a go. It's an investment. So, let's see what goes now. I presume it doesn't heat up at the bottom and let the bucket. No, it probably doesn't. We'll know another minute or two. Will you come here before something? This uh, settings there. This dot must be the proper temperature for milk. I'm presuming so. I'll read the instructions. Now I read the manual with the two pages that are written in German and it tells me that this dot here is 40 degrees which is probably hot enough for milk, body temperature is 37 I think. Uh, this tech light does come on when the probe is heating and it's off when it's, when it's hot. When the milk reach, reaches the desired temperature which is 40 it will cut out. So I'll put it on, I'm not going to leave the camera going for the next five minutes and do nothing, so we'll chat again when it's finished heating. Now we waited about five or six minutes there and it, it cut off. The 40 degrees mark, it was, it cut off in about four minutes and I put it up a little bit higher, just for experimental reasons, about 50 degrees and it cut off probably two or three minutes later. The milk is nice and warm, just perfect temperature for a calf to drink. The only fear I had there was, the way I stood watching it was that it would melt the bottom of the bucket, it was only a plastic bucket, but uh, it didn't. They know if I know, there's no hole in the bottom of the bucket, so it wasn't the melted. So you probably could just leave it into it and go in and come back. Because I read the other, that even if the temperature goes down, and it's in it, it'll come back up itself, according to the temperature drops. So use as long as you want, but of course, the longer you leave it, the more power you're going to use them, yeah. Electricity meter, but that's it, anyway. It's done the job, so we'll go 150 cars when the milk is warm. Happy boys, happy girls to be precise.
So it's the 11th of February and it's a lovely spring morning. The ground has dried very, very well for the time of year. There's a bit of grass there. There's 12 cows calved, two, two of them calved last night. My chef and Michael said that we're going to the cows out for a couple of hours today, get a bit of grass in another diet, get the rotation started. So we'll, there'll be several days I presume that we'll be back in for them when, when the weather breaks. So we might as well make most of them and it's fairly dry. So uh, the cows won't argue, so they'll be glad to get out. I think they're happy, don't you think they're happy, Michael? I do. Yeah. They're happy campers. Good to see them back at grass. I hope they'll stay as middle and, and they can remain on grass, but it's probably unlikely that that'll happen, but so. Take one day at a time. Now, thank God we have enough cows calved now to start selling Nick again. Get a few pounds coming back into the system. So, um, before we start using the bull tank, we're better just give it a little wash. It's, it's about six weeks empty there, and no harm to give, give it a clean every now and then. Anyway. Even though it has the automatic wash when you empty it, but it's no harm to give it a, a manual wash as well. So, that so. Uh, look away from Michael off school today. It's a Saturday, and he's fit to go into the tank. He's small and petite and fitting into the tank. And um, we'll hand him in a brush and he can scrub it in from the inside. We'll drop a water in first, just to rinse it down, and then when that's done, we'll probably just uh, burn the hot wash here and give it a full hot cycle itself. And then outside, if I get a rubber brush to it, a bucket of water, that'll be ready for for, uh, for milk. I hope to make it a Monday. Enough cows will be, will be past the beast and transition stage to go into full milk, so they might be going to the premium with it as it thrown down to the drain. So, are you ready to go in, Michael? Yeah. Well, away you go. You win there, I'll close the lid and we'll see you at next <laughs> Saturday, right? That too. No, no. Right, have a nice trip. See or not, but Michael is there actually washing the water tonight. It's a fantastic job, aren't you, Michael? Uh -huh. Aye. Thanks for watching Michael's on a keen hour of the race. Okay, thank you. So we'll leave him after he's kept the dish so he doesn't have to wash the dark anyway. You finished? I am. You getting out? I'm in. You don't want to stay there? No. Sure. I'll take you out so I suppose. Jump. Are you ready to turn your way over? Do 
You want to fill a bucket of hot water up and uh, do this thing about it? Yeah, There's a bucket there. And then I'll water go on and I'll put it in the air again. Now I must say that was a good exercise, it, it came out very clean. It's got a bit of microphone into it. Inside and outside is now spotless. Ready for a year's hard milking. I hope the price is as good as it was last year. It was all worthwhile, but I have my doubts. Now we'll jump on a few days. It's, it's, it's uh, Wednesday night. I think it's the 15th of February. It's 11.15 p.m. This cow here, after calving, but half an hour ago or so. Lovely Jersey cross calf, half a calf and all. That's uh, that's my 17th cow to calf, and it's my 12th half a calf and five bulls. Uh, she was sick about making them and. Uh, I had to go to a meeting and I came back and she just calved. I just milked her and dosed her with sandal, I did the mall sandal, I shot her from the, after the calve. And now I'm going to go up and feed the milk to the calf and see how he takes to the bottle. Now that's the calf the other that was born half hour ago. Nice little dirty cross half hour. This one thinks that is all calves, but it's not. She was in the pen with, with the calf's mother. Right? They were still in the pen just because this is here, it's about the calf too. As you can see, she's on the job. So, hope by the time this calf fed and, and put up to the other shed under the red light, and, and that, um, she'll be probably, hopefully, calf herself. I'll have, have to handle her and see what the story is.
No. That's him fed and tagged. He'll, he'll leave him up now into the, into the red light. Let him dry out. And uh, by then this hopefully we'll have a calving done. See the feet is starting to come so I'll leave her have for a few minutes here she does. So that's it, I'm gonna put that other calf to the shed and run the phone right just of the calf and the back down here and this one has the head out. Quick pull the jack and the calf is landed and mother and child is both well, it's a bull calf. So that is twelve heifers and six balls, which is two tours to one point. Favourite heifer, so it's a good hit, very good hit so far. And there's another 40 to the cab, but we'll get it though. Yeah, it's 10 to 1 now on the clock, so it's it's time to try and get you a short high. I got that second calf fed with the bottle, milked the cow, fed the calf with the bottle, dosed the cow with the saddle, tied the calf, same as the first calf, there's no, no difference. Same routine. So the boat up in the pen in, under the red lamp and Effort is good. The other cow in the pen that's doing all the roaring uh, has settled herself now. She might calf for morning, but I think the excitement that she got uh, with all the sorry, the excitement that she got with all, with all the carry on beside her and stuff, she, she might settle get down the calf for a few hours. So she may wait till tomorrow. Hopefully she will. So uh, there's two or three more cows in the shed. She won't say this will be calving tomorrow night or tomorrow evening. So. We'll have to just wait and see what to do. But that's it for tonight. I'll catch up with you all in the morning. Now it's the next day, next morning. I did get a few minutes sleep, believe it or not. The tall cow had the abbot a few minutes ago. A lovely freedom heifer calf. A lovely calf. It was midterm break and the staff was on the job today. Connor and Michael doing the the, doing their job, but we're cleaning the pens out for the calves and rebedding them and moving the calves from the first training house down to this pen and from that pen to this pen. So it's a, uh, it's all go at the minute.
now that's all under control again. It was a busy couple of days there, busy week. Uh, there's three calves and Connor that was born last night. Two good, healthy calves on the bottom of them. And today's calf is in here, getting dried out with the red lamp. I call this room the training room. I come in here on the barn from the first night in there, getting dried out, and then after this, then they'll train on the bucket, bucket first in the bucket. And there's small groups of calves, these are training them, big groups of calves. And then they go down then to the. I'm talking, not you. They go down then to the. To the big pen then, the one strong one, we're able to fight the corner on the bucket. So that's the story. Yeah, so we'll wind down this video now. So that's the that's the week's summary of what on the farm for the week. More or less. It's all all go a busy time of the year, plenty to be done. So uh, I'll just see a drink off uh broke here, I want to fix it. But um I'll probably just stick with one video a week, maybe if I can. For the for the foreseeable future. I only do one a week anyway, but Try and get it on maybe Wednesday night or no, sorry, Thursday or Friday night I'll probably upload it if 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 I can at all. See how it goes for a few weeks anyway. Um there's the calves now. We clean them out at them and we we bedded them and they're quite happy that the six young ones stay up. It's in this pen, it's not the three you've seen it in the last clip. So he was born the last twelve hours or so. Uh, there's the oldest ten there. Quite happy. Not a worry in the world. And uh, these two girls have it up there just into the cabin pen. They won't calve tonight probably, but it's just they can go to bed and watch them on the phone and say they don't watch them in the middle of the night. Check them so. But they have to do calve, but the bones aren't tough enough for the calve unless they make a very fast progress, which doesn't make it be moved as well. Like, so. so you never know what they'll do. But they'll, they'll say for the other time, we've seen them, see them on the camera on the phone. And, uh, so. so that's it. Um, on that note, we'll, we'll call it a, a wrap. For this week, we'll see you soon again. Thank you for watching.